necks and fasten your seat belts for I'm going to invite upon the stage a dedicated health enthusiast. His unbounded enthusiasm, immeasurable drive, and matchless determination are worth emulating. A mechanical engineer by profession, he served in the elite Indian Army for good 32 years. Ranging from being a part of IPKF operations in Sri Lanka, serving as the production manager for the uh, overall of battle tanks in Army Base Workshop Pune, and as the commanding officer of independent armored workshop Surajad, <coughs> to the diverse postings in the length and breadth of the country, he always kept the finer side of his life alive. Singing, dancing, playing and gardening, he has a passion for all. So amidst thunderous applause, I call upon the stage the master of ceremonies of the day, my dear husband, Colonel Vidosh Sabarwal. Very good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today, my to the topic of my speech is as MC is health of human being. Health is the well being of your body and mind. The, you have to remain active and fit to be physically fit. Mental health is the balance and control of your mind. It is said that healthy mind resides in the healthy body. State of mind leads to physical implications. Gut health affects your brain functioning because it, uh, it has an effect on your brain. The body has enormous ability to heal itself. We have around 5000 source enzymes. If we exhaust the source enzymes by having bad food, toxins, liquor and poor elimination, over time the cancer and other degenerative disease develop. Fresh fruit and vegetables have high <coughs> enzymes so they taste well. We eat cooked food but cooked food have got susceptible to heat so while cooking they get destroyed. Moreover cooked food remains for longer time in your body and it becomes a good source of uh, spread of bad, uh, bad uh, thing, uh, cells in your body. So, better to eat the food which is healthy for your body. No wonder when we eat heavy food, we feel sleepy and, and uh, very, very lazy. and majority of persons they take 80% of acidic food and 20% of alkaline food whereas it has to be other way around. The refined and and this junk food it is very difficult to digest because and for example it is your maida, momo, bread. These are the harmful thing which these are called dead food. And unrefined food like complex carbohydrates and brown rice, they are like live food. Gentlemen, last meal should be light like dinner. It has to be light and it has to be taken before 7 p.m. because 
after sunset your digestion becomes zero when you eat late you lead it leads to choking of respiratory tract irregular breathing and low level of oxygen in the blood another thing is intermittent fasting which was being followed by gandhi ji if you take your last meal 7 pm and then you take first meal next day at 10 am so there is a gap of 15 hours so during fasting what what happens your enzymes they work on to rejuvenate your cells and repair your body but if you eat late night and sleep then what happens your pran shakti these enzymes and all your body capability to heal yourself is diverted towards digesting your food so healing does not take place he also followed followed the principle of frugally eating that is eating less than your hunger he believe, he called raw food as vital food our body we should not make it refuse bin to store the food and drink the palate likes another thing water is a indispensable source like air sunlight food water should be taken 40 minutes before meals and one hour after meals otherwise what happens it dilutes the digestive enzymes moreover chatter agni there is amasha there when you eat food so it secretes secretes the juices to digest your food and if you take water along with meals it gets diluted and it becomes very difficult to digest and assimilate the food in the ancient times the human being used to work very hard like they used to go for fetching water and firewood for hunting and all so nowadays the exercise is very important because it improves your blood circulation and improve your lung capacity and the stamina and it facilitates elimination different kind of through your stool your this thing sweating and uh you need yoga increase the capacity of each part of your body and improves flexibility and signs the rhythmic breathing oxygenates each parts of your cell each cell of your body different type of exercises should be done every day not the same ones now another aspect is sound sleep lack of sleep of one day leads to impaired metabolism irregular breathing and weak immunity to incite proper sleep we have to take meals 3 hours before sleep we have to reduce the illumination in our room where you sleep and we have to switch off your electronic gadgets and tv pranayam and samadhi these things and uh, this thing breathing deep breathing help you to have a sound sleep avoid trans fat which is found in cooked food and junk food which you order it increase the level of bad cholesterol that is ldl and rather you should consume fruits vegetable legumes nuts whole grains that is complex carbohydrate which have more fiber and nutrients flax seed walnuts celery grapes olive oil spices are health friendly 
Now another aspect is related to mind. Endless thoughts take away energy from your body. Meditation is the best technique to reduce your thoughts. It, it has calming effect and it gives you total rest of to mind and body. If you touch your palate, just reversing your tongue, so instantly you will notice your thought instantly stop. To remain happy one has to have patience and reduce wants and expectations. Love, empathy, joy, strength increases our immune system. Another very good habit is laughter. It rejuvenates us and releases stress. Clapping is another healthy, health friendly habit. Through aqua pressure, each organ of body gets energized. Having balanced diet, exercise, and sound sleep, getting sunlight and good water from childhood, we, we can stay healthy. At the same time, if we constantly, constantly generate and emit thoughts of peace, harmony, love, compassion, we will complete the cycle of perfect health. In case human beings, being is physically, mentally, emotionally and internally healthy. It, he will radiate positivity, bliss to everyone and make the world beautiful place to live. Thank you.